Today, we'll show you seven exercises that will help you get more power in your shots, starting with exercises for beginners and progressing to more advanced drills. You're watching All Attack. Top of foot tap. To shoot a ball with power, you first need to get a feel for the basic power shot technique, which requires you to rotate your ankle, hit the ball with the top of your foot, and strike straight through the center of the ball. To start practicing your technique, Use the top of your foot to lightly hit the ball against a wall. Or into a goal. Doing this repeatedly will help you start developing the muscles you need to hit the ball with power. Cone strikes. When you're first learning the power shot technique, some of you might find that your toe gets stuck on the ground. This is because you're not good enough at rotating your ankle yet. So if you're just starting to work on your technique, it might be helpful to hit the ball off a small cone. This will make it so you have more space between your toe and the ground, meaning it will be easier to hit the ball with the top of your foot. And once you feel confident in your technique, you can move the ball back to the ground. Hard plant. Much of the power in your shots actually comes from the plant leg. This leg holds the entire weight of your body as you swing your foot through the ball. Providing the foundation for any shot. So when you're first learning to shoot with power, it can be helpful to plant your foot extra hard next to the ball. This will help you build your muscles quicker and help you learn where to plant your foot. Use multiple balls or a wall. One of the worst things about shooting practice is chasing after the ball. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great for fitness, but it's not a very efficient way to practice your shooting. So if you can, it's helpful to either find somewhere where the ball will bounce back to you, or to use multiple footballs. They don't have to be expensive footballs, and the wall could just be a fence or the side of a bench. The only thing that really matters is that you figure out a way to work on your technique over and over again so that you can improve faster. And just to clarify, you can improve your shot power with one ball. It will just take longer because you can't get as many repetitions in. Ten yard strikes. Place the ball about ten yards from goal. Then use the power shot technique to hit the ball straight down the middle of the goal. At first, just focus on getting the correct technique. And don't add too much extra power on your shots. Then, as you improve, you can gradually start hitting the ball harder. Focus on keeping the ball low and getting as little spin on the ball as possible. The 12 yard challenge. Once you've got the basic technique down, you can start working on your accuracy and hitting a ball when it's rolling. Place the ball about 12 yards from goal or roughly where the penalty spot would be. Then place a cone two yards from each post. These will mark the corners of the goal. To do the exercise, take a touch to the side and shoot the ball with power into one of the corners. 
See how many times out of 10 you can hit the corners accurately. As you improve, you can gradually start to move the ball back until eventually you're shooting from beyond the 18 yard box. Receive and shoot. Of course, in a real game, you won't usually have time to take a nice slow touch to the side. Most of the time, you'll have to receive a ball. Quickly get it out of your feet and shoot before a defender can get there. For this drill, stand near the top of the 18 yard box. Then have a friend or teammate pass you the ball from different angles. When you receive the pass, touch the ball a few feet away from your body. Then, with your next touch, hit the ball with power into the corner. When you're first getting started, have your friend give you easy passes to control. Then, as you improve, gradually increase the difficulty of the balls. The Near Post Challenge. Place the ball about 10 yards from one of the posts. Then have a goalkeeper stand a couple yards from the post. Start the drill by taking a touch. Then shoot low with power and try to score at the near post. With the keeper trying to save it. If you find the drill is too easy for the attacker, move the ball further from goal. Also, the keeper shouldn't cheat and cover the entire near post ahead of time. That totally defeats the purpose of the exercise. Also, we recommend doing all of these exercises with both feet. That way you can become a lethal two-footed player.